Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Tim Tora coming at you again, and today is Monday, May 1st, 2017, and this is, what, day three, day two, day three, of my family's trip to Hollister and Branson, Missouri. And yesterday, on Sunday, we got the opportunity to go to Osage Restaurant, which is at Johnny Morris, Top of the Rock, Ozarks Heritage Preserve. And this is the first shot. You can see the sign of the uh, Ozark Heritage, of the Top of the Rock, Ozarks Heritage Preserve, uh, right there. So I'm going to show you a series of pictures before we get into the food of this very uh, intricate, ornate, and unique establishment. All right, so let's get into it. So this is basically a large chimney. Wood fireplace. Very nice statue of an American Indian hunter. Patio area of Osage. And uh, beyond the uh, American Indian sits Table Rock Lake. First interior shot of the restaurant. Painting and sculpture. Fabulous patriotic painting. Braden really loved playing with this uh, setup here. Wood-fired oven and carving station. Side shot of the kitchen. Beautiful dining area, of course. View of the lake from the table and second shot of this area right here. Braden living it up. One-year-old Evelyn. All of the troops together, including my wife Stephanie. Yummy, freshly squeezed orange juice. So a couple things that I'm going to mention now is that this, of course, was Sunday brunch at Osage. And uh, it's $34.95 per person. And the restaurant itself gets three and a half stars out of five from 12 reviews on Yelp. So three and a half is not exactly what a restaurant is looking for, uh, but let's get into it. Now on the left-hand side, you can see potato and leek soup, which was a little thin, but it had the tr traditional flavor. Now, basically working from left to right, we have the oak roasted prime rib with... Uh, mushrooms, button mushrooms, if you will. Uh, we also had, which, you know, of course had that uh, smoke flavor, some smoke flavor, which was nice. We had smokehouse bacon. We had baked eggs in pastry, which was a little lackluster. Housemade sausage. And then freshly baked biscuits and gravy, which of course were light and airy and fluffy on both sides, not only the biscuit, but also the gravy. So definitely a great first plate to start out with. Um, everything was good except for the baked eggs in pastry. Now this was my second and final plate. And uh, of all of the things on this plate, the best is the French toast and pure maple syrup with whipped butter. It was uh, delicious and right on the money. You also have a key lime tart at the top of the screen. You have a dolce de leche cheesecake bite at the bottom. Of course, snickerdoodle cookies, apple crisp, chocolate cupcake, and then you have, looks like a sponge cake with uh, uh, cutie. Uh, everything was good, the, the, except for the chocolate cupcake, it was, it was okay. The snickerdoodle cookie didn't blow me away, but the key lime tart was on the money, and the Dolce de Leche cheese, cheesecake bite delivered as well, as well as the sponge cake. So uh, this is the these are the main foods that I ate. Um, they also, of course, they had many different options. Large buffet, fresh fruit, uh, organic yogurt parfait with assorted toppings like uh, fruits and granolas, things of that nature, of course. Wine poached shrimp, oysters on the half shell, a lot of different things that you could ask for, of course, muffins um, and uh, assorted pastries. 
Um, so all different kinds of options. Many things that I did not get just based on room, like wrapped chicken and, uh, you know, seafood dishes. So a lot of things there. A um, lot of pictures to come in this video, but I want to summarize the food experience and say that three and a half stars out of five does not do Osage Restaurant justice. This is at least a four-star restaurant out of five, probably four and a half for the $34.95 per person that my family paid for Stephanie and me, of course. Uh, it was worth the money, uh, worth the money. So let's get into the subsequent shots, excuse me, of the remainder of Osage Restaurant and Top of the Rock, uh, Top of the Rock. So here we have an excellent painting on an elevator door. Same with a sculpture and painting as well. Great shot of Evelyn and Braden, if I do say so myself. This small church overlooks Table Rock Lake and is home to weddings. Final shot of the lake. Further construction and excavation at top of the rock. Wonderful shot of an Indian warrior. And this is the final shot uh, of this video. It's an American Indian uh, raising up a uh, skull of a cow or a bison, probably a bison, American bison. And uh, so Johnny Morris, Top of the Rock, Ozarks Heritage Preserve, so much to see here. I have been here before. There's a cave trail and a museum of the Ozarks uh, historic, Historical Museum, which is extraordinary. Uh, and I ho hopefully we can go again and I can get some shots of that for you. But uh, like I said, this is Top of the Rock Ozarks Heritage Preserve Osage Restaurant. Now, I want to point out that Johnny Morris owns Bass Pro Shops, Bass Pro Shops. And he has, not only does he have the Bass Pro Shops in Springfield and also one in uh, this area, Branson area, Ridgedale. Uh, but he has Big Cedar Lodge, which is right next to where I'm staying, Paradise Point Resort, and Top of the Rock. Um, so he owns the Big Cedar Lodge and the Top of the Rock uh, area. Uh, fabulous. Got to check it out. The website is topoftherock.com. So many things to see here. You know, it looks like uh, two restaurants and a wine bar, uh, and then of course the uh, the cave trail, the museum, and uh, that may be all that encompasses uh, the this uh, establishment, but uh, definitely a sight to see if you're anywhere in the area. So uh, that's this video focusing on Osage Restaurant and also Top of the Rock. Uh, I thank you very much for watching. As always, please subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments that you like, share, and I hope you guys have a great Monday, May 1st, 2017. Thanks a lot and take care. Bye-bye.